Welcome back to the channel. My name is Marky and I am an Asana expert and business process consultant and I love making these videos to help you understand how to use Asana better for both yourself and your team. And so today we're going to be going through the new custom rule builder inside of Asana. I did a video a few weeks back on what's new inside of Asana and I touched on this briefly, but today I'm gonna to be bringing you through a use case so you can better understand how to use the new custom builder. And so if you don't see it in your instance yet, I know Asana is doing some testing. They are all, uh, they're always doing um, A-B testing and rolling things out slowly. So please be patient. Uh, if you don't see it yet, it will come and then you'll be prompted when it rolls out officially inside of your instance. So let's get into the demo. I'm going to help to set the stage. And so I'm just going to walk you through what the project looks like, what the use case looks like. I have a um, project here where uh, the use case is we are a marketing team. We are taking in new requests. And so you can see there are different sections, which actually aren't sections. What I'm doing is I have no sections and I'm just sorting in this case by the task type. And then it's created these sections. And then I've gone and I've filtered um, these different task statuses by the new request that will come in, by the approval that's needed, and by the completed request. And so even that's a fairly new update. If you missed that one, I have another video on the new views and how to create custom views inside of Asana. But this is what it looks like. So we've got a few fields here where we've got task status, the content type, uh, the brand channel is going to go out on whether it's a personal channel for, you know, the thought leader or the CEO maybe, and then a company channel that this is being created for. And then we have some approval stages we're going to go through. I've also added estimated time here because I'm going to show you what that looks like inside of the new custom builder. You can do some, some cool changes now. And then if we go to customize, I also have a form. Okay, so there's a form here. We may use it later on, but uh, I will show you just what that looks like here really quickly. And so it's just a basic intake form where you have the name, I'm submitting the email automatically, and then what channel it's for, what the content type is, need more information, when's the go live date, and then um, added additional files for context. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna navigate to our rule builder. If this is the first time that you're looking at this, you're gonna see this same screen where you can create a custom rule or you can have other rules here that are pre-made for you. And if you haven't upgraded yet, um, you'll be prompted then to upgrade to the new custom rule builder here. And so again, I've already done this. And if you haven't um, already, there's a video that I did on the what's new in Asana for September, 2023, where I blind reacted to this. I hadn't used it yet. I had simply switched over to the new view to see what it looked like but I hadn't used it yet and uh, it was it was really cool and I was excited to get back in here but I had some comments and some questions asking for a more in-depth review and walkthrough of the tool and so that's what we're going to do today. So if you take a look at this, um, it looks very much like the workflow builder that we're used to. We have this kind of grid dot style here. Um, we still have our, our triggers and our actions, but now we have this check if, whereas before we'd have to have multiple rules that we're creating and we'd have to go sort through them all to do you know many different things based on different conditions that are met now we can do it all inside of one place and now for the first time we can actually add branching within our our rule builder here so really cool update for asana really cool step in the right direction where we can finally have if then logic um, and so i'm going to walk you through a, a couple use cases today for what that can look like so we're going to start by titling this i'm going to call this new request submissions like so and i'm going to click on when a task is added to this project um, if the task is added by a form and again we have that form that we created the content request form i want to do a couple of things okay so i'm going to assign this task to you know, myself in this case, then I'm going to add this other action. I also want to do this. I then also want to go down to our custom field section and I want to change the task status to new requests. So I want to make sure that that custom field is now being used. We can do various other things, right? And so 
we can add you know various ands we can come in here what else do we want to do we want to change the due dates maybe we want to change it to today and then um, let's just add a check if here because we want to um, give it some more information so now we can do a check if this is happening or this is happening versus an and this is happening so now i want to say when a task is added from the form and let's say let's go look at another custom field here um let's say content type is going to be email and maybe we've determined in our organization that emails when they are are created we were assigning time to them so we we want to add estimated time in this case and so this is another cool update inside of the rule builder is now you can change both text field um, text-based, sorry, and numeric-based um, fields within Asana. So we can update dollar amounts, we can update estimated time, we can update text fields to add in information as well. And so in this case, when a, a task is added to this project, we're going and it's added from this form and the, the submitter selected email, all these things are gonna happen. I'm gonna set to marquee, we're going to set the status to new request, we're gonna set it to be due, um, today because I want to triage this request and then I'm going to go and we're going to add another one here so I think I wanted to change estimated time I'm going to put in one for my one hour there and I'm going to add something else and I am going to create a comment so now I'm going to say um, at marquee actually you know what maybe I'll just use a variable so now we can say people task creator this will be the assignee actually so um default url what do we want to do name let's do let's do mention for now so the person that's assigned because it's not always going to be me um, marquee there is a new request for and then let's add another variable custom field and in this case we will say content type um, so it's going to pull in the content type um, that was selected here. Um, it's already in my section. Let's see. There's a new request for a content type. Um, please. Here, let's see. Content type that needs to be addressed today. Needs to be addressed. Let's leave that as a blank and let's actually use another variable. So let's use a, a custom field or, or date. Um, you know what, because we're just sending the due date. So yeah, let's do the due date right there. It needs to be addressed today. Please triage this request. And so then I can take this new request and then I can move it into the next stage, right? So we can do a whole bunch of things. So again, we, we could have always done this, but you know, we would have had to think through this a little bit differently. Where this becomes really interesting now is now we can have other outcomes. So I'm going to go back to the to the start here and go when. So now if we click on when again, we can do when another happens, okay? Or if there's another you know task so let's let's just add another when okay and as you can see we we need to have both of these conditions met in order for this to take place but if we go the otherwise if here's what it does is it creates another branch so cool right uh, we wanted this for a long time so now we can add logic we can build more complex rules here and so um, if you couldn't tell I'm really excited for this so when the task is added to this project now we can check um, uh, maybe there was another form that we were using, right? So maybe it's not the content request form, but let's just assume that I selected another form from this. I don't actually have one. Um, actually, yeah, I, I don't actually have one right now, but let's just, let's just um, assume for a second. Actually, let's delete this and let's remove this for a second. I'm going to publish that and I'm just going to create another form just so we have another one, doesn't really matter. Um, duplicate, and we're gonna call this, um, I don't know, video request form, doesn't matter. There we go, so let's go back into our rule builder here now, let's go and we're gonna edit this one here, great, and let's, let's continue. So now we're gonna go otherwise if, and now if the project is added here and we're using another form, right, and we can now say content type, um, let's go and in this case, 
if the content type is now a video, right, we can do all these other things or we can now assign to a different person. So rather than me, it'll be assigned to, you know, info at thinkditto.com and then we can have other things do. So maybe video takes a little bit longer. So we're going to do estimated time here. We're going to give that six hours and then we can, you know, set the, the due date for the triage. We can add in a message. We can add to another project because maybe there is a, do I have a video production board? Um, approval board, any other boards? Uh, perfect. Let's set it to there, right? So now we can add it to another another place where there's maybe another team that needs to review the video request that's coming in. So the the possibilities are really endless with this. I think this right here is just a huge step in the right direction for Asana. Uh, if you found this helpful, um, please share this with somebody else that may also want to use this. So let's just save that right there. Uh, I'm not going to test it because I think you know how this works, but I, I want to encourage you to apply this to your own use case, right? Think of how you can use this. This was a real basic marketing example, right, where the task would now come in and it could move through the stages automatically. We can set additional rules to move it through here. We can have statuses. Again, the possibilities are endless, but I don't have unlimited time here on YouTube because probably uh, a lot of you are, have already stopped watching this. But if you're still here, thank you so much. Thank you for watching. Uh, let me know what you thought and let me know what you think about this new feature. We'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.